All right, we have a function that measures the time it takes to complete a trip depending on where on the shore we land. So um, this video is just to talk about the calculus part. We uh, figured out in class how to find the equation for time. Before I start taking the derivative, I'm going to rewrite the way the equation is written. So for starters, I'm going to uh, turn this square root into a one-half power. And instead of dividing by 8 the whole thing, I'm just going to show that as times 1 8th, or multiplying by 1 8th. That's the same as dividing by 8. And then I'm also going to take this 17 and divide it or distribute it into the 6 and the negative x. So instead of writing it as a whole fraction, I'm going to write it as 6 17 minus 1 17 times x. Now it's going to be easy for me to take the derivative using various rules. For starters, I'm going to take the 1 half times 1 8th, which equals 1 16th. Half of an eighth is a 16th and carry in the inside, and notice here, I drop the power, 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. Now, I multiply by 2x, remember that is the chain rule, the derivative of x squared plus 25 is 2x, and the derivative of 6 17 so that's a constant, so that's going to be 0, and the derivative of negative 1 17th x, well that's right here, negative 1 17th. Just to clean it up a little bit, just uh, take the negative uh, exponent and move that whole thing down into the denominator. And that half means the square root. And then I also took 2x and divided it by 1 16th. So if I had 2x over 1 16th, that would be x over 8. So the square root part comes from up here and the x over 8 comes from the 1 16th and the 2x minus 1 17th. So that's my derivative. My objective is to find out when the derivative is 0. That's where the optimum is going to occur. And uh, what we see here is I take my derivative and set it equal to 0, which is pretty much if I add 1 17th, I add 1 17th to both sides of the equation, it effectively moves 1 17th over. Now I need to solve for x. The thing that's giving me the most trouble, oops, <laughs> the thing that's giving me the most trouble is this guy right here, the square root and all that. If I, to make that go away, I'm going to square both sides. So we square the x, we square the 8, we square the square root, and we square 1, and we square 17. Now I have to solve this equation. I'm going to cross multiply, so we'll have the x squared times the 17 squared, and then we're also going to have the 1 times 64 minus, uh, times all that stuff. Um, I distributed the 64 there too, by the way. So, if I take the square root of both sides and solve for x, I get 8 thirds. And that's where I should be uh, landing on the shore. In other words, I should uh, row uh, 2 and 2 thirds kilometers from, I can't remember what point that was, from the shore. Alright, hope you enjoyed the lesson.